Hey folks, it's Brad LaDrew here at Western GM in Drumheller, Alberta, Canada. And today we're looking at our very first 2020 GMC Sierra 1500 half ton Duramax diesel. Now, if you're not familiar with the Sierras, they're available in six different trims. So you have a base, you have an SLE, which happens to be the truck here in front of us. And then you go into the Elevation Edition, an SLT, the AT4, and of course the top dog, the Denali. Now, if you're looking at trims, you can get the Duramax diesel in all the trims except for the very uh, entry level model, which is a really nice thing to know. Moving on in, you can see the badging. And listen, very, very quiet. Let's pop the hood right here. And let's take a look under the hood. Now I just mentioned trims. But also in the GMC vehicles, if you're not familiar, you have five different engine choices. So the standard engine is a 4.3 liter Ecotec 3 V6 with 285 horse, 305 foot-pounds of torque. You have a 2.7 liter inline turbo four-cylinder. That's 310 horsepower, 380, uh, sorry, 348 foot-pounds of torque. And then you've got our most popular engines here in Alberta, which would be your 5.3 liter Ecotec 3. 355 horsepower, 383 foot-pounds of torque. If you've uh, watched any of my previous videos, you've heard me say that number quite a few times. But now this new three liter inline six Duramax diesel is slotted right next to this 5.3. So if you're looking at, you know, not having a base 4.3 and or springing $400 only to go to the 2.7 liter inline four cylinder turbo model, you've got you're looking at two grand or four grand to go from the 5.3 or the Duramax. Now, obviously, if you're looking at Duramax, mostly people are going to buy this for fuel economy, but let's just talk about the hard um, power numbers. So, again, the 5.3 is 355, 383. This Duramax is 277 horse, 460 foot pounds of torque. And again, that 5.3 has only got an eight speed, whereas this baby Duramax has got a 10 speed. And of course, you can go to the top dog, the 6.2 liter Ecotec 3, that's 420 horse and the same 460 foot-pounds of torque with a 10-speed automatic. Now, let's just close this up. And again, if you're going into that 6.2 liter, you'd be spending four grand. So if you want to spend that money, go for a Duramax for the fuel economy or the power in the, in the uh, 6.2 liter. So when it comes to towing and payloads, because again, we're talking about trucks, we're in Alberta. Um, when I do these videos, we, we do them based off of, or I do them based off what mostly we sell here in Alberta, which is four by four crew cab trucks, not double cabs, not regular cabs or anything like that. This is what we primarily sell. So the numbers, the payload numbers, the towing numbers, all that sort of stuff is all based off of a four by four truck. Now, obviously you've got your modern fob, you can go up, touch this to lower your gate or you can double tap and lower down your tailgate. Now, when you've heard in a previous video, the SLT, the AT4 and the Denali gets you the multi-pro tailgate, okay? So you can see we got the factory spray and liner in this bad boy. But again, when you look at a 5.3 for towing, you got 9,600 pounds. And in the, this Duramax, you've got 9,300 pounds of towing. When you look at payload, you've got 2,285 pounds of payload in the 5.3 crew, 4x4, and this Duramax, you're looking at 2,385 foot-pounds of, or sorry, um, pounds of payload. So 100 pounds of better payload. Again, a little less horsepower, quite a bit more uh, foot-pounds of torque. Moving on over, you can see here, you've got the capless fuel door for your diesel, and this is where your DEF tank is as well. And let's just go inside real quick. Let's kill the radio. I'm gonna kill the fan. I hope you can hear that. It's barely noticeable over a normal 5.3 liter or 6.2 liter engine. So very, very quiet operation, which is important for you to know. And again, when you go into um, the Duramax, you still get some of the newest technologies, some of the th things that GM really 
focus in on, which would be either a single speed or like this one, a two speed transfer case. So again, we've got our auto four by four, you got two high, four high, four low, and then you've got this drive mode. Now again, if this was a single speed, you wouldn't have the four low. You heard me mention this before. So again, the four uh, low will be a terrain mode instead, which has got some really distinct advantages. But again, maybe you're in a logging industry or you're on really muddy, um, uh, construction sites all the time, then you definitely want to spring for the two speed transfer case. So just make sure you know that. Now, when you're going into a two speed transfer case like this, you also, both models, you have this drive mode. So when you turn this dial, apologize, it's got to focus a little bit here, folks. Sorry. Come on, baby. There you go. So when we turn this jog dial, you notice we have normal, sport, and we've got off road. So again, GM spent 2 million miles of testing on this. And what's really neat is that depending on if you're in sport mode, as an example, you can see that checkered flag down in the DIC, the Driver Information Center, is that it'll dampen this, this steering so you get more road feel. It'll also change the throttle response down here on your pedal. It'll also change the shift points of your transmission so they're quite a bit more crisp. Um, and it'll downshift even quicker. So it's one of those things that GM spent a lot of time on this to give you this distinct feeling when you have it in sport mode versus off-road mode versus normal, or even say your tow haul mode for that matter. So those are some of the really neat things uh, technological wise that GM spent um, time adjusting and changing. And I really, really like it. And then of course you can see, let's just give a quick overview. Really, this is about the engine, but you can see this SLE, really nice trimmed out truck. Okay, you see the seat back storage here as well. But, you know, more of a really short video. An SLE you can get with bucket seats and all that sort of stuff as well. But talking about the major things, so your engine choices, right? Your trim choices, like I was mentioning earlier, your base, your SLE your elevation. So the, your elevation, elevation has the 20s, black, everything's black, really sharp looking truck. And then you wanna go into an SLT. So again, the SLE and the SLT give you all the chrome bumpers. Then when you go into the AT4, the off-road model, you get your painted bumpers. And then when you go into, and a, of, of course, a factory lift and uh, you know Duratrac tires, all that sort of stuff. When you go into the Denali, you're getting a premium ride suspension, real wood, real metal inside. And again, that sub-brand Denali is an exclusive. It's fantastic and a really nice appeal. Um, and then when you go into your engines, again, here in Alberta, we're mainly selling 5.3s and 6.2s, but I really think this Duramax is gonna take off because there's so many people that do a lot of highway driving. And this is where this vehicle really shines. I, didn't, I wanted to save the best for last, which is the fuel economy. So again, um, US guys, if you're listening to this, Americans that are listening to me right now, this is 23 MPG city and 29 highway in the 4x4. And there's all kinds of reviews, all kinds of videos, out there that you can read with real world, real world owners talking about getting 32 and 33 in the four x four and getting 35 and 36 in the rear wheel drive, the two wheel drive models. So you've got incredible fuel economy here in Canada. That would be 10.2 liters in the city and 8.1 liters on the highway. And again, if you're getting up to that 32 miles per gallon on the highway, like a lot of people are, that's crazy. You're talking 7.3 liters per 100 kilometers here in Canada, which is just incredible. So again, real world fuel economy is insane. And that's where this truck really shines. You've got the power and performance similar to a 5.3, torque similar to a obviously a 6.2 liter, but you've got the fuel economy that's better than all the other engines. And that's where this is gonna really shine. But there you go, folks. A short video today. Again, I want you to listen. Really quiet. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll have more videos down the line here soon. And I hope you have a great day. Like, share, subscribe. Cheers.